Hey YouTube, Man and Roy back again. Well, today I have an unboxing video for you. As most of you guys know, I am a big fan of analog record, basically analog camcorders in general. That could include mini DVs, uh, Hi eights, digital eights. Uh, I even have a couple uh, Super VHSC camcorders lying around. Um, this one right here is what we're going to be talking about today. I know I've done a review of this. This is my Samsung uh, Mini DV Camcorder Model SC-D372. But from right around 2007-2008, this is a really nice cam camcorder. Very, very light. Um, I took this, uh, if you guys watched the uh, vlog I filmed when I went out to the Red Hat campsite, uh, I actually filmed it with this camcorder. Um, the reason I didn't use the uh, uh, Sony HD camcorder is because I didn't want anything to happen to that. Even though I do care about all my camcorders, if something major happened to this one, it wouldn't be a great financial loss to me. Um, but as you guys know, the problem I was having with this uh, when I took it out there is the battery had died before I'd actually wanted, captured everything I wanted to. We got out to the site, I got all that stuff okay, but I was going to film a little bit going back. And unfortunately, the original battery in this was not up to snuff. Um, what this actually takes is, a, of course, a Samsung battery, but it is model SB-LSM80. Uh, it's a 7.4 volt, 800 milliamp battery, which is decent. I mean, you definitely have better batteries today, but um, this, from what I can tell, is the original. And it has last, and it still does hold a charge, but probably only about 60, maybe 70% uh, charge does it actually still hold. So I went on eBay, and yes, I know people are going to get on my case for this, um, but I am not going to spend the 50 to $80 that Samsung wants for an original equipment battery. So yes, I went on eBay and I bought one of those cheap Chinese batteries that a lot of my YouTubers hate. And again, I don't mean to offend anybody, but I have had very good luck with them. Granted, they don't usually last as long as the original ones, but hey, you know, it's an older camcorder. Chances are, you know, I'll only have it for a couple more years and that should be long enough for this battery to do what it needs to do. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox this eBay package. I think the easiest way will be to cut along the top here, so that's what I'm going to do. Unfortunately, my scissors are a little dull, but as you can see, it definitely did the trick. I'll go ahead and try and pull this out. These are these plastic bags are not the easiest to open, but they do protect the item, which is the most important thing. Here is the return slip, which I'll put to the side. Hopefully I won't need that. Ugh, I need two hands for this. Alright, and here is the battery itself. It's a Max Maximal Power brand. Huh. This is interesting, folks. If you look at this, let's go ahead and unbox it and I'll, sh I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to go ahead and stop the camera for a minute so I can actually open this. Alright, now that I got the package open, um, you can see that it is the, basically the same battery, but the model is slightly different. If you look on here, and I'll try to put the two together, uh, you can see that uh, mine was an SB LSM80, and this is a SBL. SM160. Now I was assured that this battery would work and the reason the model number is different you can as you can see this is the the new one is the extended life battery. Um, let's go ahead and open it and I'll go ahead and give you a side-by-side -side comparison. Okay now that I got them together you can see the old battery in front which is the Samsung and I got the new one on top and you can see the new one is actually about twice the size. I'll give you guys a front to back view of it. You can see the power leads, uh, one of course being plus and minus. Uh, but this one should give it at least double the time, whereas this one, even when it was brand new, would probably only last 60 minutes. This battery should last at least 120 minutes or two hours. 
I'll show you guys the bottom of this real quick. Um, you can see it is still 7.4 volts at 1600 milliamp hours. Um, I'm actually surprised that isn't higher. Um, I know that with other lithium ion batteries, the, the higher the milliamps, uh, generally the um, the longer it lasts, and I, I don't think this particular camcorder is stuck at just a 1600 milliamp hour battery because when I was looking on eBay for these, I saw some replacement batteries for this and they actually went up to uh, 1800. Um, but again, this is the one that had the best reviews, so I decided to just go ahead and go with this one. So without further ado, let's see if this will actually fit into the camcorder itself. It's supposed to slide in. You actually put it in just a little underneath the leads and then you push it up. Now as you can see it does stick out quite a bit more and man I, I tell you that you could definitely tell the difference in the weight but <laughs> wow yeah it's really back heavy now like if I'm holding this I, I think my hand might actually get a little tired um, but you know it's not too bad. I mean, I could deal with it. I, I like having the extended life. Let's go ahead and see if uh, how well it's charged. It, now I haven't charged this or anything, so it, it may only have a half a charge. It's usually what they do when they give you a new battery. All right, let's go ahead and turn it to uh, camcorder. Okay. Yeah, they actually did give me a full charge on that, if you can see it on the screen. And it's not giving me any battery warnings. Um, I know like with the uh, the Sony uh, Hi8 or Digital 8 camcorders, if you get an aftermarket battery, it doesn't work with all models. Sometimes you put it in and it'll actually say uh, non-Sony battery. You must use a Sony and then they'll give the, the model number of the battery. But yeah, this looks like it's uh, working pretty good. I am going to go ahead and charge it now just to make sure it is fully charged. That's very important. Whenever you get a new battery, um, you want to go ahead and not use it until it's fully charged. It's not as important anymore with lithium-ion batteries, but it's still a good rule of thumb because every once in a while you'll run into a nickel metal hydride battery and um, those can build up a memory, whereas uh, lithium-ion batteries usually don't, especially if they're new. But again, it's just a good rule of thumb. As soon as you get a new battery, fully charge it, and then you're good to go. Hope you guys enjoyed this little unboxing video. I will give you guys an update, let you know at uh, a later date how this battery is doing. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.